I was like looking all around and I looked down and he's like looking at me like this, like with his hand <laughs> up. He, he had fallen down and got like romper stomped by the crowd. <laughs> he got romper stomped by the crowd and his hand was like, like the hell me, sir. I was staple. Um, YDP like motto is that we will always bring that other perspective see oh, like yeah. and the difference with my dad is like he's like where are you going and like <laughs> <laughs> coming out saying oh yeah we might start a podcast people are like yeah, fly to the market like why are you getting why are you getting in every man and their dog has a has a podcast like, they took her yeah. to the room and then they obviously would have been eating and then they came out and <laughs> 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 what did you guys make they came out no no they came out <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first episode of You Decide podcast. It is good to finally be here. In the words of Dwayne Johnson, finally. I thought it was Mana. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> <laughs> 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 Why do Mosa like that? <laughs> he sent us those energy drinks. <laughs> oh man, it's good to be here. My name is Chris and I'm joined by these extraordinary gentlemen here. To my left I have... We have Aaron, aka Big Stack. AKA Daddy Chill. <laughs> <laughs> and to my right, we have Bo. Just keep it real. <laughs> <laughs> Just a straight to the point. What's up, guys? I'm Jeff. And behind the scenes, we have our main man, Matua. AKA Matua Slips, on the ones and the twos running the cameras. <laughs> Matua. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's good to be here, boys. Episode made one. Made it. We finally. made it. We finally made it. How are we feeling, fellas? I'm feeling good, bro. A bit nervous, but I'm so glad we're here, eh? finally. Mm -hmm. nah. It's good to um, change it up. Sick, sick of winning the games. Yes. <laughs> it's good to finally sit down and start the party. Yep, good to get the to finally get the ball rolling. It's been a long time coming. I think everyone's been waiting for us <laughs> to, to drop this, and we're finally here. Yeah, you guys will know um, Ball from losing the first <laughs> round of every TikTok game you ever played. Uh, but a quick shout out and a plug to um, our YDP uh, TikTok page. Shout out to everyone who follows, likes, subscribe, whatever. Um, shares our stuff. We do appreciate it. And uh, we just love having a laugh. Sure. So, uh, fellas, first part of our show, we're going to get our uh, amazing producer, Matua Slips. Who's most likely? Who's most likely? All right, first one. Who's most likely to become a celebrity? Who's most likely to, to become a celebrity? Most like a G. <laughs> <laughs> ten seconds, ten seconds. Uh, for me, it's definitely... Sully. I said oh. ten seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you gave it... I thought it was ten seconds to answer. Ten seconds timer starting <laughs> now on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're really good at that. <laughs> <laughs> that was like, that that was good. All right, I got my answer. Hundred percent, Aaron. Oh, here you go. It's got to be Aaron. Aaron. Have you seen? Look. Have you seen this TikTok page? His personal one. <laughs> Follow this guy. As a uh, underscore. Aaron actually lives for the limelight. He's he does. Stop, that's stop. what. That's him to a T. <laughs> that is correct. Yeah, I think it's unanimous. It's Aaron. He's definitely got the personality mm. to go. Aaron, famous. what say you, brother? I would have to go with Jeff for me. Um, he's got the looks. He's he, you know he's got that sunny boy appeal about him. <laughs> <laughs> he's got the sleeve to match. <laughs> he's got the flush. He's got it all, that guy. So yeah, I'd have to say Jeff. Well, we're gonna have to go with Aaron on that one, eh, boys? Yeah, Aaron, unanimous. Big stack, aka big stack. <laughs> <laughs> it's just one of those things, eh? You know. All right, second question. Who's the biggest Karen in the group? Who's the biggest Karen in the group? Mm, this could go both ways. I would say Jeff. Yeah. Or Chris. <laughs> <laughs> did I, did really? I take the words right out of your mouth? Also, really? Wow. <laughs> really? Really? Do you guys really think that low of me? It's Jeff. Karen. It's 100% Jeff. It's Jeff, but Chris is pushing close to, <laughs> close behind okay. Jeff. Okay. I'll say Chris. Chris for me. I'm gonna double down on that Jeff answer. Um, we'll lock it in. It's definitely <laughs> Everything has to be perfect for Jeff. Yeah. Mm. Product out of you know Rutherford High. <laughs> Shout out Rutherford. Shout out to Rutherford. 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 Privilege. Bird gang. Bird gang. <laughs> Don't say that school on here ever again. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's wondering where is that. Seattle to North, baby. 
represent A34. All right, next one. Who's most likely to forget their ID at a club? Okay, wait. Ready? We'll okay. all say it together. Okay. Three, two, one. Four. Mina. Mina. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, actually yeah. Mina. Actually, yeah. Mina. 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 I wasn't going out. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I stayed home. So, so the one time ID. you did go out, you one time I did, I needed an ID. <laughs> Shout oh, out to And Matu slips because he's always out. What's next? All right, next one. Who's most likely to fob out during a speech? <laughs> last, last. <laughs> <laughs> last, last. Ooh. Whoa. Ooh. Okay, say it. Three, two, one. Aaron. Aaron. Yeah. Aaron. Uh, Aaron. See, I nominated myself there. Yeah, I think I heard you one time too. <laughs> <laughs> Just every time we record or? <laughs> oh, why is that? Shmiggy bigger balls. Shmiggy bigger balls. Yeah, next. <laughs> All right, who's most likely to drop what they're doing and come to your aid? <laughs> oh, three, two, Four. one, Chris. Aaron, Bo. Chris. Come on. Get out of here. Come on. When have you ever, okay, when have you ever dropped everything you're doing to come help any of us? He would drop everything and That's then right. wait for a taxi because he would go. <laughs> no, I was gonna say when I picked up bowl early hours in the morning from BP or leave it at that. Hey. <laughs> what was he doing? He's going for a run. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's counting. <laughs> Believe it or not, I was, going, <laughs> no. I was going for a run. Uh, Aaron's counting. He's counting yeah, all the no. things he's done for that's us. It, that's yeah, it. Yeah. No, that's it. That's hey, all. Hey, that's one for the. Take a look at this guy. Bless my guy. I would, I would like to think we would all come to our, you know. Yeah, well, you would hope so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Just make sure you pay for feed and petrol. So. <laughs> Aaron, I think Aaron's been nominated the most tonight. I think Aaron takes it away. Aaron, most you points. are most likely. He got the Karen category as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Segment number two, speed debate, 2v2. Two two. Winners, Aaron and Chris versus Bo and Jeff. First topic. Usain Bolt is a better Olympian than Michael Phelps. Cap. For, for sure, sure. For sure. For sure. 100%. No 100%. way. 100%. Um, what? You take it away. Take it away. In, in the Olympics, what do people tune in to watch? The or, most? Or more uh, synchronized more swimming? Ac- <laughs> <laughs> more accurately, who do people tune in to watch? Yep. It's the lightning man. It's yeah. Usain Bolt. He's good at doing things that all humans can do <laughs> okay that's all, all, all humans can he run takes his all you. <laughs> and he moves them forward because all humans now you take that human no, 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 get that, no, listen you take that same human you put him in an unnatural environment <laughs> like the water we have a man who has 54 <laughs> don't even check those facts 54 <laughs> gold medals Mina, can you fact check this guy please can we come back so all humans can do what you <laughs> say <laughs> all humans can run a hundred and nine flat and nine seconds nine seconds is that it that's that's, <laughs> a, that's a ridiculous statement there chris come on come on you say in bolt greatest olympian greatest of all time it can't be yeah <gasps> michael phelps has more medals the medals don't lie yeah, yeah michael lie. phelps did it in more events though mm. Michael Phelps had the, he had the chance <laughs> to win more medals, so obviously he's going to have more medals. But well, you could say that um, Usain Bolt could could have trained for 800 meters mm-hmm. to 1200. No, but mm-hmm. it's the hurdles. Well, you, mm-hmm. We all know <laughs> they all have <laughs> running. <laughs> they all have <laughs> running. <laughs> to do that at such an elite level, yeah, that's crazy. No he could have walked. No one's, of, no one's breaking Usain's Usain's record in the next. He could have walked miles on miles. Years. I don't think anyone mm-hmm. will years. break it. In, time we're alive okay so he let's see the winning percentage wait wait at the olympics okay so you say bolt right wins yeah. uh he's wins like the gold and 100 like yep. gold and 200 and record yep. yep and a golden four relays four by 100 eh? yeah mm. yep. and in all those events he was just moving his legs because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. like, 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 yeah, <laughs> most humans he's going like this is the other one because like, most humans are back. trying to be fish. Come on. Because yeah. who, who, who wants to see how fast you can swim? Like, honestly. Like, no one wants to see someone like, in the you pool. You can't even see half their body. You know what I mean? Like, I'm well, going to wait here and watch for you. Well, the next time you're getting attacked by a shark, <laughs> good luck. Try running away. Well, try running away from 
the hundred and something animals that you'll come across on land. On land. On land. How often are you in the water? I run into the water. <laughs> <laughs> How often are you in the water? All the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling t- 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, we'll put it to the comment section. Uh, let us know your thoughts on that. But probably unanimous, say eh? Aaron and Chris yeah. one. Yeah, you say in bold. Usain Bolt Greatest all Olympian. Day. The all lightning time. man. Speaking of other great Olympians, ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> we're running this. We're running this track. Yes. Yeah, Good life. <laughs> speaking of athletes, <laughs> we're running um, the journey of life. I think it's important that we give a bit of context to who we are as YDP, and for our followers out there and people who are just tuning in for the first time, um, I think they'll probably be a little interested in how this whole thing came together, right? Eh? Um, so I'm gonna hospital pass it straight to to Bo. Oof. Bo. So YDP is is us here. It's uh, Jeff, obviously Bo, myself and Aaron, and then Mina. Um, but uh, tell us how, how did you come to be a part of you decide? Thank you for the hospital pass. <laughs> <laughs> so, nah, um, basically we're a group of friends that just get together every weekend, even though we <laughs> we don't plan to, and we uh, we have a group chat. And we're debating about anything and everything, and then we thought, why don't we just um, get in front of the camera and and like discuss the very interesting topics that we have come to debate about? So um, that's good. Why don't we go even further back? Yeah. Because I've known both since we're in nappies, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we grew up together at church. Mm. Um, oh, like that? that yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. Like that, that origin. Yeah, way origin. back. Yeah, yeah, way back. <laughs> yeah, Chris and I grew up in church. Um, as if, oh, Aaron was with us for for a little bit. When? And then moved, <laughs> to, and then moved Did he come to, to our church? <laughs> and then moved to um, moved to Australia. Australia. Uh, Mina was also Mina's roots. Mm-hmm. Uh, also um, at the same church. And then yeah, but Aaron and Mina, Aaron, Mina, and I are uh, cousins. We're family, but we've grown up with Chris. And then we met Jeff along the road along the way and then we've just been we've just clicked ever since uh we've we were always seen together we're always together doing stuff anyway so yeah i don't want to say jeff's an outsider <laughs> <laughs> but, but as that's an what outsider, he's trying to say <laughs> but, but jeff as an outsider what was it like coming into this group um firstly how i came into the group is aaron and i have worked at the same workplace for a few years and i invited him to my 21st Many years ago. And he didn't want to go. Can we just clarify that? He was like, no, I don't want to go. Apparently, I've just heard now he didn't want to come to my birthday, which is sad. But anyways, uh, I invited him. Um, and I was at my partner's house and he turned up. I un- I invited him only, but he turned up with two of his cousins. like, like All yeah, typical yeah. islanders? Typical. And one yeah, of the cousins. And one of the, <laughs> and one of the cousins was uh, happened to be Bo. So um, that was how I first... You know, got to meet Bo, but I've known Aaron for a long time through um, work, and you know, we just built a friendship there. And then I got introduced to uh, Bo, Mina, um, and Chris, and that's how I became a part of YDP. But yeah, ever since then, you know, just been debating topics, talking about sports, just talking about life in general. But mm. yeah, if it wasn't for our man over there, Ezra, uh, mm. I wouldn't know these boys. So kind of grateful for that interview. That intervention intervening whatever yeah yeah standing in the gap standing in the gap yeah it's so funny yeah, that's like, my story we, you know jeff saying that we met um at our workplace but we didn't actually get like tied up to it was, it was one occasion where we went to um kendrick lamar's concert <laughs> 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 and honestly I've, i i i, I pin this as a, a defining moment of our friendship like when we really like oh yeah, this, we're boys now mm. is, um we stood about three hours um at the front of um the bloody concert <laughs> so in front of the concert and, and um and waiting for Kendrick Lamar to come on um they had all these um yeah. opening acts mm, VIPs, um, eh? we're VIPs, yeah, we were yeah. VIPs and we had to wait about three hours waiting for Kendrick Lamar right up the front kissing the bar like ready to kiss his feet like pretty much <laughs> we were that close right yeah. and then we waited, waited, and then he finally came on, and it got so packed. That I didn't know, like I didn't, I didn't even, at the time I didn't know what a mosh pit was. Yeah. So like it was a whole group of people sitting or standing around you. Mm. I just thought this is how it's gonna be. We're gonna stand here and watch this concert, 
as soon as the music started, everyone started jumping around and yeah. pushing people around. <laughs> and Damn I was the like, <laughs> I was watching Kendrick's like, I got loyalty, I love it. And I turn around and I can't find Jeff. Yeah. Like, I can't find him. And I'm, I'm, I was like looking all around and I looked down and he's like looking at me like this, like with his hand <laughs> up. He, he had fallen down and got like romper stomped by the crowd. <laughs> He got romper stomped by the crowd, and his hand was like, like the help me, sir, the help me, sir. I lifted him up, and no lie, we were we were there for one song at the very front, yeah. and he goes to me, can we go to the back? I was like, oh, you're telling me we stood here for three hours to move to the back, and we literally stood next to the sound guy for the rest of the night. That's uh, friendship, the fighting. Uh, that's, 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 been that's a core cool memory. I ever have. since then, we've been like this. Did you get the text for that? Nah, I didn't get the text. <laughs> no, Did you get the text for that? It was one of those last minute ones, eh? Yeah, 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 if yeah, you're yeah, a last yeah, minute, yeah, minute, yeah, minute yeah. willing to pay 300 plus to, yeah. to stand in front for 20 but minutes. The invite counts. <laughs> the, the invite. It's the thought. Must yeah. be nice. Yeah. Core what? memory right there, man. So, like, what was that like for you um, as a friend, just seeing him under all this? people? <laughs> 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 seeing him being stomped on by I wanted to laugh, but. And then, you know, geez. I was in agony. Yeah, I was, was in pain, all right? Can I ask, like, how that actually happened? How did you end up at the bottom of the mosh pit? Oh, um, like, as I was saying, um, we waited for ages, and then the crowd started piling in, mm. and they were, uh, it was tightly packed. And then when he was playing, you know, one of those hype songs, like Humble, or something like that, one of those mm. type of songs, everyone was DNA. jumping, just, right, we were going crazy, and I was enjoying it hard out, eh? <laughs> And then <laughs> it was like a wave, a, a push forward, and then everyone fell backwards. Yeah. But as I was still standing up facing facing um the stage, <laughs> right, and he was trying to, I could tell he was trying to look for me because he was looking side to side, but he couldn't see me. And then he looked back, and I was with so many other people holding, <laughs> I was holding my <laughs> hand up like this. And yeah, oh man, after that, I was like, Bro, let's get to the back. I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to deal with this anymore. But sounds like Are you a uh, um, sit down show guy. Or are you a concert festival guy? Like, are you a Broadway type drama show, or is your setting more? <laughs> <laughs> is your is your setting more festival, uh, uh, concert, full on vibes? I, f I feel like in my later years, <laughs> <laughs> I've moved to somewhat more yeah. calm, <laughs> nice civil. seats. Yeah, <laughs> civil. You know. Everyone claps at the end. <laughs> no one swears. <laughs> no one's smoking. No one's sweating. No, like, prof no, no profanity yeah. around Chris. No profanity, you know. Yeah. I quite like it. It's quite nice. How about you guys? I'm definitely, I think now, more of a festival type and concert type guy. Mm. Um, <laughs> like underneath. <laughs> like underneath <laughs> obviously not getting stomped on, but you know, when there's enough space around where you can have your own little space, but also vibe with uh, everyone else that's in the crowd to watch the act, yeah, mm. that's that's it for me. Sitting down is all right sometimes, but yeah, I'm more the festival concert guy. Ezra, um, pretty much the same. I'm more I'm a concert guy. Have you been to a show? <laughs> <laughs> uh, last yes. week, actually. <laughs> we went. Uh, yeah. We that was oh, yeah, I remember, that. I remember that text, too. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're not getting invited to shows <laughs> and to concerts, then mean find advice. you a new... No, because we had to be there at seven on the dot. And, <laughs> like you yeah. had to pay $300. <laughs> <in the last laughs> day. And time, you and time don't go good together. <laughs> Both? Yeah. Uh, I would be... Yeah, I'm more of a chill show vibes, mm. cinema vibes, like allocated seating. <laughs> don't, <laughs> like, don't, <laughs> don't touch me. Not when you're walking sideways into the rest. <laughs> 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 you're like the, nah. um, H7. You're not an H7. <laughs> <laughs> this is my seat. <laughs> oh, calm down, Karen. There's yeah. plenty more seats around. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm there, I'm Those there are to, the worst, bro. I'm there to fight with the Karens. It's uh. like, just go sit down, find your seat. <laughs> like, you see the same picture that I do. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I like a good concert, mm. right? Just like anyone. I think I like going and listening to any live music. As a musician, like, that's cool. But something about just the chill vibe that I enjoy, mm -hmm. like sitting down in a concert and stuff like that, that's good. How come we haven't gone to a concert together? Because, <laughs> like I said, we don't get the ticks. <laughs> okay, if you don't get the ticks, then you should probably find yourself some new friends. That's the breakdown in this friendship. 
Isn't it? It's the community. I just want to stop you in your cab right there. We went to <laughs> we went to one love together and you oh, enjoyed it. Stop yeah, lying right now. That's right. The one time. Where was Jeff? Uh, our our friendship wasn't as strong oh, on the yeah, very yeah, first yeah, one love. But after that it's been it's been alright. What's that like? <laughs> he didn't oh, come yeah. to one love. No, no, but you and I. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We've yeah. and Mina. Like but we haven't been all together again. As a group. I, I think we have to go one time, all of us. Okay. Sorry to cut you off, Jeff. But one concert, a person or a band or act that dead or alive. Oh, oh. Front row seats. Oh, yeah. VIP, no mosh pit. Not underneath. <laughs> Not underneath. <laughs> Not, Not the view the from underneath. Oh, yeah. I mean, right there. Who would that be? Past and present. Mm. Or future. <laughs> See what it didn't. <laughs> do you do you have someone in mind, Chris? Yeah, I do. I have two. Two. It's either gotta be Tupac mm. Mm. or Go Frank Sinatra. Oh wow! Wow. Those are my two. Name two Sounds songs. Terrible. From who? <laughs> Frank Sinatra. Wow, <laughs> right. <laughs> Should I sing them? <laughs> <laughs> Please. You already plugged yourself then. <laughs> Yeah, nah, Frank Sinatra Frank or, or uh, Tupac. Those, those are two interests, like, completely on different ends of the spectrum. But it's cool. Who uh, wouldn't want to go to a Tupac uh, concert? Uh, is it, wait, wait. Is his stocks up because he... He's dead. No, uh, yeah, stop yeah. that. Is that. No, no, stop no. That. Not, not, but just saying, like, are you, yeah, are you so. longing to go to a Tupac uh, concert just because? Yes, because he's dead. Because yes. you never got a chance. Because you go. will never get the chance. you never get yep. the chance. Mm. Mm, maybe, yeah. I would say... For me, Michael Jackson. Because he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Just because I want to see him do the moonwalk. Stocks moon. went up and because I want to see him do the moonwalk. <laughs> and do the thriller dance. Is that right? You go first. I'm, uh, I've only got one, like, everyone else I can kind of blah, but I only got, I've got one band in mind. It's it's the, the Eagles. Oh, the Eagles. Are that's, wow. And, the, and, and the original Eagles. Yeah. Eh? that's uh, I can't Great think choice. of anyone else. Great mm. choice. I'd be Tupac as well, but with or like Jay, with the, like that Tupac era, yeah, like uh, Death Row. Mm, interesting. Yeah. Like not with Shook Knight, but just that, like Tupac and yeah. Oh, a bit of a gangster. Huh? <laughs> no, no, no. Just <laughs> we've got two <laughs> gangsters <laughs> on the table. Actually, I wouldn't want to like, go to a concert, but I would yeah, want to sit. The guy down. said, I'd, "I'd rather sit down." <laughs> no, no. But the no, first stop. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. See, you don't let me finish. Now you don't like. I I actually wouldn't want to go to a concert, but I'd want to sit down and just ask him a few questions. Tupac. That the, wasn't the question. Tupac, though. the poet, <laughs> not Tupac, the gangster. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. oh. Two Tupac, different people. The theater, Tupac. Yeah. To be honest, Tupac. I think um, Aaron just wanted to be different, so you said the Eagles. <laughs> <laughs> the Eagles. <laughs> Name me three songs. <laughs> Love will and, keep us alive. Yeah, yeah, and it can't be um, Hotel, California. Hotel California. No, psh, not even that. It's um. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> Is it your favorite song? <laughs> oh, oh, best of my life. Best of your life. Best of my life. Eagles got some. So you just want to go to watch two songs? <laughs> <laughs> Three. <laughs> here's, here's one. Who would you, past and present, not a concert, but just want to meet in person, of all time? Who's one person you would want to meet? Of all time. Like yeah, or like anyone. Hmm. Anyone Past and present like, Who would you want to meet? For me Who's at the top of your list? The top of my list will be Marcus Mariota I think for me He oh. was the one oh, that I'll really I'll call him next week <laughs> <laughs> We can make that happen, right make that happen right now We can make that happen right now He follows us uh, Just call Uncle DJ <laughs> <laughs> Dwayne The Rock he can, <laughs> DJ can something. make that happen But um, f definitely for me It's Marcus Mariota He was the one that Got me to love uh, The NFL mm. And I'm um, also An Oregon fan because of him as well. But nice. like, be honest, did you used to call him Mariota? <laughs> <laughs> like like Marcus Marcus Mariota. Mariota. <laughs> yes, you did. Stop yeah. lying. What would, be, what, what would be one question you'd ask him? Why doesn't he have social media? Mm. Mm. Does he not? No, he doesn't have any social media. Only well, his foundation. That's easy money he's missing out on. But if I, if I got the backlash he did, then I would <laughs> stay off socials as well. <laughs> <laughs> Just the tiny silence thing. What about you, Ezra? One um, person. Probably Kobe for mine. 
<laughs> because, <laughs> because he's, because he's, he's because nah, he probably Kobe. He's, he was one of my favorites growing up. Um, made me a Lakers fan, and then when he retired, huh? li- listen, when he retired, <laughs> You're a Lakers when fan. he retired, I was more, I was already becoming an AD fan. So I was a Pelican for a bit, and then when he joined the Lakers, it just realigned all the stars for me. So mm. that's yeah, Kobe, Kobe for mine. And now you're a Bucks fan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Golden State Warriors Golden fan. State Warriors that's fan. That's the guy over there. Who's um, yours? Ooh, mine would be a top. Uh, honestly, just out of Jesus, Ooh. like just out of pure fest. Like, how profound would it be to just be like, mm. and then. The other one, <laughs> <laughs> no, like, have you, haven't you already met him? <laughs> <laughs> no, you already have a relationship like, with him. Like the human form, like oh, the human, oh, like I don't know, oh. like. What did you want to ask? <laughs> he hasn't met him yet. <laughs> what did you want to? Oh, wait, <laughs> wait, whoa, 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 pull back, pull back right now. Let's <laughs> right not, now. Go, not pull, open that up. Let's yeah, not open no, the no, this, no, like not the, not, not, not as So a, you're telling me you don't know? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't speak to Jesus every night. Gosh, no, like, carry, on, like, on, carry on. Like the person, she's not like yeah. in a religious, uh, spiritual sense, like more, or maybe, maybe, Interesting. maybe so, Interesting. but, and then the other one will be Tupac. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what? Say what? Tupac. <laughs> nah, just, honestly. Man, you guys you must gangster, really love but, like, Tupac. Went to a drama school. <laughs> like, how are you from? Yeah, anyways. Chris? Mine would have to be, damn, I don't want to say Tupac now. But I want to say Tupac. It has to be someone. So if it was one. someone else other than Tupac, and I'm not going to say. Smoking my balls. Smoking my balls. Probably. Um, Prince. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, if I. And I'm not saying this because, like, everyone. But Elon Musk would be an interesting oh. person to sit down and talk with. Straight up. Yeah, straight up. Hey. Yep. Yeah. On one of his mini jets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like he is an interesting man, eh? Yeah, very yeah. interesting, very innovative, but got there's a lot going on. Very pale. Unpick his, <laughs> yeah, have you seen the photo of him on the yacht? Yeah. <laughs> very, very pale. Mm. I seen this one. Um, I can't remember if it was the show. They're like, I'll buy Tesla stock because he looks like he just works. <laughs> you know, yeah. Yeah. like Jeff Bezos looks like he's tanned, been working out, holidays. But if you had the money Jeff Bezos did, I'd probably do, do the same. Yeah. I can't stand <laughs> watching an Elon interviewee. I feel like he takes the, the slowest time to talk. He's yeah. just like really... He's think, actually really he re- awkward, eh? Yeah, he is he very really awkward. He really thinks about you, what he's saying. When you look at those guys like um, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, um, Kanye West, they're very... Very awkward people when yeah. you watch their interviews. Eh? Actually, Kanye West would be interesting to me. Yeah, Kanye West would be someone yeah, very yeah, interesting Kanye. to me. I thought you would say Kanye. Uh, he is, but he would Kanye be fan. he would be crazy. Like, <laughs> I don't know how <laughs> old we'll get in the world. Yeah, he like would just crazy how sway? Jesus? How sway? <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got the you answer, ain't sway. Got the answer, sway. I guess that's one thing that brings us all together. It's like a lot of us have common interests, eh? Yeah. yeah. So I think we touched on like sports, um, but also like our background of like where we live, kind of the the communities that we come from as well. Mm. Hey, um, that's what we kind of all share, and why, um, or how YDP kind of came together, um, to what it is now. So I guess my question is, why a podcast? <laughs> 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 why a podcast nah, actually, of all things yeah, yeah, yeah. of all things like, boys why can a I, podcast can I put some like um, like coming out saying oh yeah we might start a podcast like even like in the brainstorming like in the very very like beginning people are like the flood of the market like why are you yeah. getting, why are you getting in every man and their dog has a has a podcast mm. so um, yeah that's an interesting question eh Whenever I hear that question, I always think about those memes. You know, those memes <laughs> of like guys getting together after one conversation and be like, "Should we start a podcast?" <laughs> <laughs> I always think of that. But it's yeah, it, it is a very inter- interesting question. That I think f- why I wanted to be a part of a podcast, anyways, was I wanted to talk about the things I'm interested in and mm. um, kind of like share it with other people that may have similar interests. Um, uh, I'm I'm into film. I love movies. Mm. I love sports, mm. like all the other boys up here. But all the, we 
we are very similar, but we also have a lot of differences as well in our interests and hobbies. And um, that's probably why I want them to be a part of podcasts, is to also learn um, about other things in life. And this is also to step out of my comfort zone. So mm. that's another, that was a very big thing for me as I was getting really, really comfortable with life. And this kind of <laughs> throws the spanners in the works in the sense of I'm doing something out of my comfort zone. And it's making me, you know, step out of it. Mm. In a way. Yeah, hard. So I can't like, I think I can't like knock people's hustle away. Yeah. Like yeah. when I see people put out anything, like it could be music, um, it could be a podcast. For me, it's like, I'll listen to something or I hear something and I'm like, ah, it's terrible. But I would never, uh, my thing is like, but can you do it? You know? Mm-hmm. And so it's like, yo, when I was, when we were talking about, why don't we do a podcast? It's like, yeah, we listen to podcasts all the time and we might not like it, but it's like, <coughs> cool, do your own then. And that's yeah. kind of like the attitude that I've always had just with life in general. It's like, yeah. if I can't do any better, it's like, then sure, keep it pushing. Sure, sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> keep it pushing, keep brother. Pushing. Yeah. Aaron, you want to win? Yeah, um, for for me it was it, it was something that um, it was kind of what we were already doing anyway, just without the camera. Mm. We we were we would link up and we would go, we would have shisha and we'll just sit and talk, and that was kind of the fun thing. Like we we sat on it for a while. Hey, like w- we we decided like we wanted to do a podcast, but we sat on it. We didn't just jump straight into it, and we really thought and planned it out. And I think. When we're sitting there and, and just discussing, or just just talking amongst ourselves at Shisha and Shisha, we were like, you know, these are really good conversations, and it would be interesting to see what people think about mm. what we have to say, and yeah, they can point. chime in into what we have to say. And mm. I just think it was, it was something, you know, like Jeff said, you know, st- us stepping out of our comfort zones. Um, it's adventurous for us too. Yeah, like, 100%. it's it's. I would never have thought that I would be sitting here doing something like this because. You guys, you know, thought I would, I don't know, who's most likely to be a celebrity? Um, this is far, like, way out of my comfort zone. So, yeah, yeah. that's, yeah, that's something new. That's and, and, like, I think you really touch on the heart of, like, what YDP is, is that we love hearing other perspectives. Yeah. And we talk a mm. lot of crap here. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of smack that is talked yep. in this circle right here, but we love hearing other people's perspectives, eh? And I think yeah. that's one reason why we thought, man, why not a podcast? Let's hear what other people think about this, eh? Mm. Let's hear what, what other, like, let's get some other perspectives, maybe. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. like, Bo, you touched on that, too. Yeah, like, to bring it full circle, like, um, we didn't just, like what Jeff was talking about in his meme, like, we didn't just one day had a, had a talk or caught up and then the next day started a podcast. Like, this has been a year and a half mm. of actually, we put, yeah, we thought of the idea like two years ago at least straight after the lockdown yeah and then yeah. we just parked it and we were like nah then nothing's gonna happen mm. and then maybe uh, uh like a year ago we revisited it we we're like should we just sit down and start something but not until earlier on this year we were like nah let's just do it what do we have to lose and um it gives our families just another excuse for us to see each other <laughs> 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 like, at the, like if you hang out with That's your friends true. all the time That's you true. might as well hang out and, and make something of can i just can i just jump in there you know my dad you know you guys know my dad right <laughs> trying to explain to him where i'm going at five o'clock straight after work where are you going I was going, oh. <laughs> don't worry about it. Are you doing that? Where are you going? And then you're like, oh, right, right, and walk straight <laughs> out the door. And he's like, like imagine I'm, oh, I'm going to go to Chris's house to film a podcast. Yeah. Uh, is that like even, the time bother. Is that like the time when you left home and you came back <laughs> <laughs> and you got home and he was like, you still no girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, was like there were times when we were put like earlier on, we were, you know, Mina and I would be picking up Aaron and we would just go hang out. And this would be like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, <laughs> and then Saturday have a rest on Sunday and then do Monday, Tuesday and then we'll get back at it. Yeah. And like every, it was like probably like weeks on weeks and then we would get home or we'd get to Aaron's house and th- his dad goes, it's like, you guys always hang out but do you still come back with their girlfriends? <laughs> like, See uh, like, and the difference with my dad is like, he's like, where are you going? And I'm like, just going out just going out with Aaron <laughs> oh no no you know his name I always use Minas he's always going Mina with Mina I'm going I remember with Mina's, his um, name's already been trashed but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I remember I remember Mina's dad's speech at his graduation yeah, I, you were there we yeah. were there and he <laughs> and he like singled us out because he was like 
you know, you were lucky that Mina graduated or else <laughs> I'll be coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> but, but this, like, it sounds like an exaggeration, but it wasn't. It was literally Wednesday, Thursday, yeah. Friday, Saturday. Yeah. And we were up to nothing. Like, we were just catching up for the sake of catching up. Yeah. And, and I'm sure there are other people like this. There's got yeah, 100%. Yeah, 100 yeah. Please I, tell, I tell me. You. There are other like, people like this. If you hang out at a park with your mates and you have no money <laughs> <laughs> and you pull up to a park. Did you guys do that? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Park? <laughs> with your star nah, And then this one. You pull up to your other mate's house, pick up his guitar because you didn't have one, <laughs> take it to a park and just jam and chill. Then um, well, that's the, that's then the that's beauty that of friendship, eh? That's yeah. th that is the beauty of friendship. Yeah. And but yeah, it is interesting that you say that, Aaron, because I think explaining an idea or a podcast to my my mom, especially, she can't wrap her head yeah. around why we're doing that. <laughs> yeah. Like for her, it's, she only knows music. Like she doesn't know what a podcast is. But um, yeah, that's why I, I, we're very blessed to grow up in mm. this generation we're in now because we get to be doing something like this, speaking yeah. to speaking about our interests, you know, building on our friendships, even putting it on camera for other people to see. Yeah, it's a yeah, big blessing in itself, eh? Yeah. Yeah, and there's, like, yeah, and back to, like, there was, so when we were planning, and, like, one of the biggest reasons as to why we actually sat down and, and why we're seeing this through was um, to hold on to our strong friendships but do it in an environment where we challenge ourselves, uh, continue to grow, personally but also um tackle some tough topics that maybe we could help others with yeah 100 and um and that was the value that i think that we we, we bring to the space mm. yeah, and like we don't want to be like oh yeah we're here to present <clears throat> a certain perspective on certain issues but we're just here to actually have a chat and maybe we do have opinions on certain issues but at least um we can we start the conversation it, eh? or we yeah. can start the discussion and that's and where like the importance of like tell eh? mm. and that's mm. like an, and that's why we're so big on like what do you guys think what's you know yeah. you we don't you decide to, yeah, <laughs> yeah hashtag you decide, you hashtag decide. Decide. Yeah. but um yeah i just find that that's what i really enjoyed about our conversations was um it wasn't so much about convincing everyone of our perspective it was mm. like what about this yeah you know mm. here's an idea have you ever considered this thing mm. um which cool. i always enjoyed eh? Yeah. and w which yeah. we still enjoy to this yeah. day but in saying that in saying that we are pacific we're mm. all Samoans, and in spanish <laughs> <laughs> when <laughs> <laughs> no, but we are like yeah the reality is we are Samoans. we are um we do identify as pacific and um we in a way, do represent that demographic. Yeah. Especially if you're growing up in Auckland or in New Zealand, um, West Auckland. Or low side, West, West. <laughs> LBC. Yeah, and we from the hood. Shout route. out South Auckland too. Yeah, and so a lot of our perspectives, a lot of our angles that we take on certain matters or certain subjects will come from a very Pacific or yeah, good uh, point. Yeah, <coughs> or Samoan perspective, but we're open to yep. yeah, at, at least. Uh, and that's, I think, our goal moving forward, or that's our our staple um, YDP like motto is that we will always bring that other perspective. Okay, you bring your Samoan specific perspective, mm. we'll counter that with something equally as important. And yeah, I think that's our that's where we stand. Yep, well said, also. well said. Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, oh, cheers, oh, mate. Cheers. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, cheers. wow. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that a lot. And that's good because, listen, in trying to round this all up, it's quite an um, expansive yeah. conversation. <laughs> very, very expansive. Very expansive. <laughs> like you. Expand it. There's, um, I think, some of the, the themes that I'm taking away from our, our discussion is like, you know, Surround yourself with some good people, eh? Like-minded people, mm. um, but also people who drive you, eh? And, and yep. push you to and annoy you and annoy you to the like. next level. And turn up to your house, and your family <laughs> goes and eats KFC upstairs. Now we got. Oh, you gotta tell that story right now. So <laughs> you gotta <laughs> tell that story right what now. What is the story? Oh. Let me hear it. Uh, there was one. <laughs> I think it was one Friday night. Um, <laughs> Yeah, back. I think it was like 2015, and Mina was heavily involved in his um, youth group. So on every Friday night, it's his youth night, 
And once um, upon a time, <laughs> once upon a time, every Friday night was actually reserved for youth. And but we, Chris, and Chris, Aaron, and I, we just rock up to his house and we wanted to go out, but we had to wait for Mina and his family to get home. And so we like invited ourselves into the house. <laughs> like we went, <laughs> like through we the went garage, around through the carport, like, around to like the we back, went around to the, the pool. to the back of the house and waited there for the family. And like, and then they arrived, but they came with KFC. <laughs> and then they didn't show the KFC to us, but we knew they bought KFC. And <laughs> how did but you then know? they got they went. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The so they the just <laughs> smell the it. Eleven herbs and spices. Smell it. Smell it. Smell it. Smell it. Smell it. Yeah. So me and his family arrive, and then they they get out of the car and they come they come into the house and they let us in and we go wait in the sitting room, and then um they take a while. <laughs> They're like, hey, did we all just walk in together? <laughs> If we're we sitting there. in this living room, just us. Like, <laughs> where's Mina? <laughs> we're like, we all walked in together. Where are these guys? And then, yeah, and then, so we knew they bought KFC, but they took it into the room. And then <laughs> <laughs> they took it into the they rumpus took room. It <laughs> into the room. <laughs> they took it yeah. into the room, and then they obviously would have been eating, and then they came out. And <laughs> 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 oh, did you guys make it? No, no, they came out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop it. I think you're looking good. <laughs> <laughs> looking nah, nah, you know what's funny? There's no one said anything. Then Aaron, oh, I think Paul goes, nah, why don't you give us any KFC? <laughs> <laughs> he goes, Chop Eddie, Paul. Nah, Aaron, nah, it wasn't oh. me. It was Aaron. Aaron goes, but well, why did you take your KFC into the room? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. And I've heard, was... I've heard their defense. I've heard uh, Mina's sister, Faith, like tell us, we couldn't bring it in because there was only like like 11 pieces for all of us. <laughs> I was like, we didn't want your KFC anyway. But we just like the text, just <laughs> like, like the invite. We didn't want <laughs> we it. Didn't yeah. want it. We didn't want it. <laughs> but it's, it's, like, the it's the thought. It's the, it's the thought. thought. But it's the principle. We didn't want it. It's the principle. It's the principle. <laughs> like, you don't take food into a room. And yeah. that's a big no no if you're. <laughs> hey, but I'm I, I'm but, but that's, oh, I'm oh, healed. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's that's I think Paul's still scarred for that, to be honest. We're better for it. Now, do you know what? I'll go buy KFC and we all eat. No, but. That's what I mean by like we were the annoying friends. <laughs> like we would invite ourselves when we like we knew like that's true friendships. Yeah, though. that was true friendships. Yeah. And uh, we were family, but still, <laughs> they're like, "Why are you here?" <laughs> like, like we're family. Like we're all family. But you walk to the house, they're like, eh, "You guys again?" And then that's yeah. Find you some friends that annoy you. Speaking of eating, that's the plan for YDP. We're all gonna be eating together and hopefully eating with you soon. <laughs> um, final thoughts, boys. Takeaways. Takeaways, mainly. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's hard on topic for the next one. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah, get the, there. We'll get there. Best, yeah, we'll get best there. takeaways. Uh, um, Final thoughts, Bo. Uh, it's been a long time coming, and I think actually sitting down and now having a chat, um, it's it's been it's been worth it. But also excited to see what actually comes of this and. Man, like like I said, we're just here to we're just another set of friends or another group of friends just catching up. Mm. And yeah. Yeah. Uh super super grateful to be doing this podcast with all these brothers. Um we finally got here. It's about time. Um I know some of you guys have waited for a while as well. And yeah, shout out to the real ones. Yeah, yeah. shout out to the ones. The real hey, ones. You know, yeah. who's, who's stuck for us through yeah. our games. And the, ones yeah. who, the ones who message the through and say, are, like, when's the podcast yeah. dropping? No, we, or like, yeah. we appreciate you guys for actually sticking Straight through. Up. I know it's been a lengthy process, but, you know, life happens. and yeah, But we're just happy. With, I'm happy that we finally got here um, and that we've got the ball rolling, like, what, as I said before. Um, yeah, so super grateful and excited for what the next season has for YDP. Yo. Azza. Yep, it's just the same. Just thank you all for your patience and excited to get this started. You know. Yeah, Chris. find yourself some good friends. You yeah. know, life's too short, man. Have a laugh. Have mm. a laugh, but also have a go. Give it a try. At the end of the day. <laughs> you try your best. <laughs> <you> don't succeed. <laughs> The Put the video of him sleeping every <laughs> time we drink. At the end, at the end, end of the day, night. it's night. It's night. <laughs> In the words Mi of Mina. Mina, can you bring? Uh, can you please bring up that video? <laughs> at, the, at the end of the at the end of the day, it's tonight. <laughs> <laughs> can, we, can we pull that video up? <laughs> Next week we talk Mina and the 43 stairs. 
53. <laughs> See, that's how much I went clubbing. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Man, if you remember 53, you are pretty old. <laughs> nah. You shouldn't be out. You guys are old. <laughs> Man, okay. Find us on uh, TikTok at you decide pod. Underscore. Underscore, as well as Instagram. Like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Or don't. We're still going to be here anyway. <laughs> That's us, boys. Millie.